السلام علیکم گڈ آفٹر نون دے اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم مسٹر محمد خالد اینڈ یو آر لرننگ پاکستان اسٹڈیز اٹ از ویک ایٹ لیسن ایٹ اینڈ آر ٹوڈیز ڈسکشن از اباؤٹ دا کانسٹیٹیوشنل ڈیولپمنٹ ان پاکستان ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس if we explore the history of pakistan we find that one of the most crucial problems pakistan had to face is the lack of the central constitution due to which in later stage we find that there happened lots of problem mismanagement interference of the establishment and many things happened and this lack of prop constitution and the rule of law is still happening in pakistan in one way or other therefore learning about the constitutional development in pakistan and rule of law is one of the very major concept for the students to understand the nature the students to understand the constitutional development we need to understand the law what is law need of the law what role constitutional or law plays in the lives of state and the nation thereby this discussion is going to be very informative and quite important for everyone contents in this entire discussion we are going to talk about history of english constitution in subcontinent objective resolution of 1949 importance of the objective resolution first Constitu- constitution 1956 salient features of the constitution of 1956 abrogation of 90 1956 constitution the constitution of pakistan 1973 and among this the constitution of 1962 then ziara and its constitutional legacy the 1990s and toppling of the benzir photo government musharraf cop and all these important events which happened in the constitution of pakistan or our journey towards the constitution will be discussed in detail the students first what law is law are the highest supreme rules and regulations in general generally we say the highest sublime rules and regulations which describe a system of government and rules regulations plus rights and obligations of the people is called law so let's read it law define the system of government rights and obligation okay and law is by a sovereign muktadriyala 
by someone sublime clear here we understood that law are the rules and regulations which govern our life which tell us about a political system okay which devise rules and regulations and when we follow okay then rules and regulations rights and obligations and if someone fails to follow the law or breaks the law he is liable to punishment let me explain in urdu कानून दरअसल वो आला उसूल और उसूल होते हैं कवायद और जवाब होते हैं जो किसी भी जो एक मुख्तर आला सबसे आला हस्ती जो होती है वो बनाती है और उसमें सबसे पहले वो गवर्नमेंट का सिस्टम के एक गवर्नमेंट क्या होगी एक रियासत का जो बुनियादी ढांचा है जैसे आप पिछली क्लास में पढ़ चुके हैं उसके ढांचे को बयान करते हैं क्लियर उसमें रहने वाले लोगों के हकूक और फराइज को बयान करते हैं और अगर कोई बंदा उन उसूलों को तोड़ता है तो उसे सजा दी जाती है क्लियर इन व्हाट इज सोवरन इन द मॉडर्न डे द अकॉर्डिंग टू इस्लाम द सोवरन इज द लाइफ is 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 the uh, allah almighty himself and khalifa is the second sovereign who uses the authority of allah subhanahu wa taala as a sec- sacred trust and regulates the lives of the people leads the people and govern their life make other rules and manage their uh, betterment and food and security fine but in the modern times in a quite nearest past king used to be the sovereign I mean every law would be made after the name of the king so in like king of england king of france king of germany or khalifa of turkey uh, they used to be the sovereign but in the modern politics sovereign in in the democracy in pakistan where we live uh sovereign are the president but the real power is of the sovereignty is with the people ke log republic mein log become the sovereign okay and they hand over their powers to their representative like mps or mnas and they make parliament senate and that senate and parliament actually makes the law and those rules and regulations govern our life understood so to understand really what law is we should know about the organs of the state or the state structure that what type of state we are or what our type of state we are going to learn fine second law are written and unwritten there are two types of law written and unwritten law for example the law of england is unwritten because it is based on conventions clear based on convention mean the whatever they are whatever rules and regulation and practices their forefathers had been doing okay they follow the same tradition same manner to settle their disputes and to govern that is for that the law of england is mostly customary law custom mean it is developed from the customs but rad other all the law in the world are written form they are called codified law for example when you uh, listen to the uh, discussion according to article 7 of the constitution clause 2 and when you watch a film when you listen to a lawyer okay and you 
excessively talk about Article 62, 61, fine. And this discussion means why you say Article 62, 61, clear. And then we have also uh, the other clauses of the criminal law, criminal uh, procedure, clear. Uh, CPC or CRPC, where we say char so bis mean okay, teen so do. They are the very common expressions that even a man mean. Uh, let me speak in Urdu. Ke wo ji teen so do ke mukadme mein aa gaya. What means? It is murder. So this three zero two is actually the art. It is the article of the. Criminal procedure, sorry, CPC, clear, or that is written. It means it is a written one. Therefore, you are referring. Clear. So, now in the world, most of the constitution in the world are written. Clear. The entire rest world has written document, which is called constitution. Fine. Among the most influential constitutions from the Western civilization, American constitution. It is very small, <laughs> precise constitution that develops, that expresses different rules and regulations. And Americans are utilizing that constitution and that constitution has <laughs> helped Americans emerge as superpower. Fine. Similarly, law is one of the very important thing. So when we compare our country with the others, due to the lack of law and rule of law, we find that there was military interference, establishment interference, okay, the political parties uh, didn't have any uh, they lacked the motivation and many things. So law is one of the very major thing. And nation can only survive if they have a strong law and if they have the spirit to follow the rule of law. Otherwise, nations are just the heart. They are just a crowd or mob fighting and quarreling over petty interests. If there is no law, if there is no law, if there is no law, then people are like a group of people who are like a group of people who are like a group of people who are like a group of Dear students, I hope that you have learned about the definition of law that they are and now move to next. History of constitution of the subcontinent. We must understand, we have to, we must explore the history of constitution. Let's go back. Students, when before British had taken over the entire India, this vast continent, this vast area, vast region was divided into many princely states. And there, the kings, queens, and prince, they were ruling. And they were ruling according to the local law. For example, the Mughals, they were Muslims. And they had the Islamic rule. And they were governing their country according to the Islamic rules or mixed Islamic rules. Secondly, we find the Maratha Hindus, they were ruling their state or the country according to them. And similarly, throughout the India, various states, they were ruling their own local law and culture. Like in Balochistan, we find the tribal culture. Balochistan ke andar jo kabilon ka ek apna tarika kaar hai, they use this and they uh, live the life according to their living for thousands of years. But when British came, 
before the British East India Company, it took the control of entire India. Okay, and the officers of the company, they were controlling the life of India, Indians from 1662 till 1857. Okay, but in 1857, after the War of Independence, when the Indians as whole, be they are Muslims, be they are Hindus, be they are Sikhs, be they are other nations, they failed and India came under the control of British, then the British crown, the King of England, it was clear, King of England, took control of India. I mean, they took India under their own control and declared India as the colony of the Great Britain. Okay? And then they introduced India Act 1858. India Act 1858. I mean, they repelled, they replaced, they discarded all the previous law and they introduced India Act 9, 1858. The Qazis and other were removed and then the judges, lawyer, bar, court, tie, these things came into the practice. Well, then <clears throat> between 1858 till 1947, there came numerous uh, sub uh, law like uh, CPC, CRPC, Contract Act, many other things according to but one major one is India Act 9, 1858 in which India to, uh, Great Britain took control of the India well India Act 1935 the second major law was it, India Act 1935 was enacted in response of the growing demand for self-government that from 1950, 1858 till 1935, uh, the local Indian people, they wanted that they should be included in the system of government. They wanted that the local people be their officers. Therefore, the British were compelled, British majboor ho gaye tab, कि उन्होंने फिर इंडिया एक्ट 1935 जो है वो जो है वो लागू किया और उसके जरिए हिंदुस्तान के जो लोग थे उनको सियासी आजादी दी गई जिसे कहते हैं ना कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मिसाल के तौर पर लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज बनाई गई कानून साज असेंबलियां बनाई गई उन कानून साज असेंबलियों में हिंदुओं को सिखों को मुसलमानों को बाकी माइनॉरिटीज को نمائندگی دی گئی کلیر اور وہ جو قانون ساز اسمبلیاں تھیں وہ اپنے اپنے لحاظ سے قانون بناتی اور اس کو وائس رائے ہند کلیر دا انڈین وائس رائے آف انڈیا جو برٹ ایک انگریز ہوتا تھا اس کو پیش کر دیتے تھے اور وہ ان کی مزدوری انڈین پار انگلینڈ پارلیمنٹ سے لے کے اس قانون کو پھر لاغو کرتا تھا کلیر بٹ اور یہ بات جو سعادت حسن منٹو کا ایک بڑا مشہور افسانہ ہے کہ نیا قانون یا نیو کانسٹیٹیوشن ٹھیک ہے نا اینڈ یو فائنڈ اٹ دیٹ ہاؤ دا پیپل ور ایکسپیکٹنگ دیٹ انڈین انڈیا ایکٹ نائنٹین تھرٹی فائیو ول چینج دیئر لائف اینڈ ندر کانسٹیٹیوشن از میدر دیٹ از انڈیا ایکٹ 1947 in which the Great Britain or the British divided India into Pakistan and India. Clear? This may Hindustan subcontinent was divided into two separate stated states into Pakistan and India. And the reason was actually the two nation theory that the Muslims demanded and claimed that Hindus are not like Muslims. We are separate nations. 
our religion, our life, social, history, heroes, everything is different. <clears throat> Therefore, we cannot live under the Hindus. And that was the demand that in 1947, Pakistan and India came into being. The students, well, when Pakistan came into being, we didn't have any constitution at that time. Pakistan into being and there was no central constitution. India Act 1935. India Act 1935, jo abhi bhi उसके अंदर कुछ अमेंडमेंट की गई और वक्ती तौर पर कानून मुलक चलाने के लिए उस कानून का सहारा लिया गया एंड सेम इंडिया 1935 वाज ऑप्टेड बाय इंडियंस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट और यही इंडिया 1935 इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने भी लिया हियर वाज द प्रॉब्लम कायद आजम मोहम्मद अली जिना वांटेड टू गिव पाकिस्तान अ फ्रेश कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन व्हिच में have all the rules and regulations inculcated by Islam, by Allah. Jis mein wo chaate te ke jis maqsad ke liye azadi asal ki gai hai, unka jo vision tha, ke jis mein Quran aur Sunna ke mutabik kanun ho, jis mein democrats kanun ho, and he effort, made efforts for it. But unfortunately, you know, that he couldn't live long and the responsibility was referred to Khan Liaqat Ali Khan and Khan Liaqat Ali Khan uh, started objective resolution clear to Khan Liaqat Ali Khan ne objective resolution peshki in 1949 why Pakistan couldn't do it earlier because there were so many problems which I have learned in the initial problems of Pakistan like war, migrators, settlement, corruption, lack of resources, water disputes, okay, lack of the uh, equipment and professional people. There were so many problems with which our leaders were completely engaged in. And meanwhile, Qaeda Azam passed away and this was one of the major setbacks. The students, I'm sure that you have learned about that what is law. Number two, what is the role of constitution and how this constitution, British or the Western constitution came to us. Thank you very much.